Hello and welcome to Question Time, where I answer one of your questions. What motivates me to cook? That's a really good question. I actually, growing up, watching my mum cooking, I it was because I didn't have to cook, cooking was kind of enjoyable for me because I was creating something, experimenting, and it was a lot of fun. And you know, you mess things up, it's okay, it's all right, because we're all learning at that time. But um, I wanted to make something that was different to what my mum cooked, and that motivated me to make something just different and create. So. I think that creativity motivated me to do something different and then came a period in my life when you have to cook. You're married and you have to cook and when you have that feeling of having to cook, it doesn't make it fun at all because you feel like you have to do it and sometimes you do it begrudgingly and let me tell you, Love is definitely the secret ingredient when you're cooking. I've made so many dishes when I haven't really wanted to cook and it tastes awful. <laughs> it just doesn't turn out right. So you have to want to cook. That's where the love comes in. And um, my love really started for cooking when I had my children. And I wanted to really make sure that they were fed well, they were healthy and eating nourishing food. Um, and, you know, I wanted to learn to cook so that my kids would eat. And it's not that um, I would make something different for them. I'd give them whatever I was cooking for my husband and I and of course I do love to cook for my husband as well and so I think that was a really good thing because having your kids eating the food that you're eating as well helps them develop their palate so you know my kids were eating kind of spicy food growing up and now they love all kinds of foods which is really good they're not very very fussy like I don't like broccoli and I don't eat this they, they don't do that they eat whatever I give to them and but they do have a good like their taste buds are very um, sensitive they do know when something tastes good so that helps me as well become a better chef like if there's not enough salt in it my son will say mm, it's really good but there's just not enough salt so he'll add a bit of salt in it and stuff so yeah, my kids and my husband motivate me to cook. They are the reason that I cook. And me as well, I love to eat. I love to eat tasty food that's good. So I cook because I enjoy it. And actually, what, what a really um, motivational thing for me is uh, cooking for feedback and I want good feedback. If I'm cooking something, I want to make sure that the product, the dish that I've made is good because the feedback I want is positive. I cook for compliments and having said that, I remember a long time ago my mother-in-law had this book and the title of that cooking book was cooking for compliments and it's so true you don't want to put the effort in and you know somebody say oh this is bad and that's wrong with it and this is wrong with it it totally puts you off cooking so cooking for your audience is very important and your audience that is eating it should know that the feedback they give you is either going to totally put you off cooking or motivate you to cook because honestly my viewpoint is is you shouldn't really be negatively criticizing somebody's cooking unless you can do a better job if you can do a better job then go ahead and do it and i know i, I probably will get a lot of like dislikes for that but it's true you know you don't you don't want to like make a dish and then you're like, oh, this dish is really good. And then somebody eats it and they're like, so-and-so makes it better. 
I mean, what an insult is that? You don't want to hear that. You put all this time and effort into it. You're doing something that you're very proud of and happy to do. And then you get that kind of feedback. So if you're watching this and you go to somebody's house and they, they've put the effort in to make a meal for you, my rule is always be complimentary. Never ever say anything bad when you go to somebody's house because it's just not nice. It's not polite. They put the time and effort in to make that dish for you, the, the food for you, so always be complimentary. Now, when it comes to close family, I've trained my family to be polite when they're criticizing my food. Number one, if I've made something badly, I know. I know if there's not enough salt in there. I know if it didn't turn out right or it's overcooked or it's mushy or whatever. I know. And I'm sure when you're cooking something, if you taste it and it doesn't taste quite right, you know that. You don't need somebody else to rub it in, right? So you kind of have to train your audience as well. So my audience is very well trained and they know what I like to hear and what I don't like to hear and so they're a good audience for me and they motivate me to cook. And my other motivation is you guys on YouTube. I try out all my dishes and it's, it's a process. I try all the dishes, I make them, and then I have to make it again to make sure that I have all the ingredients written down because the first time I make it, I'm just testing out the recipe. Then I write everything down and then I make it again to do the video. So I have to make the dish three times. So my family has to eat the same thing three times. So that's why it takes me a really long time to make the videos because I have to make sure that my family is okay eating that same dish that I'm testing out that many times. So it takes like almost a couple of months sometimes to put a video out. But Yes, my family is my motivation. The compliments that I get are my motivation to continue doing things. And I'm sure it's the same for everyone. Everyone likes to be complimented and I'm the same way. I hope I answered that question well. Do you have a question related to cooking that you want me to answer? Go ahead and put it in the comments below. Until then, happy cooking.